what, By the what way, how, the business that he's opening, sorry to cut you off, the business that he's opening, not, not that I remember, is the African version of Family Feud. I don't know, man. All I'm going to say is uh, anybody can go to Africa, especially Ghana, and get free land, uh, free uh, grants and loans for, for businesses. Like, they want uh, um, African Americans to come over there bad as shit. Like, if you really want to be a landowner and have a, be an entrepreneur, that's where you go. You go to... things that I find on the internet and uh uh I follow a lot of black media and stuff like that. I didn't even really look at the video that much, but the video title says if black people were to come to Africa were to come back to Africa if we were even, you know, if that's even a thing, right? If we were to go back to Africa, um would we make it better? Um, I, go go ahead, John Jay. I'm gonna say this, man. If black people, if we all decided to go back to Africa, they'll put us back in slavery. America would. They'll make it so hard to get a passport. They'll make so many different rules and so much different criteria for us to get over there. Like they not gonna let us leave this motherfucker. That's why America the best place on the earth. Because of us. Why would they let us go to Africa with all the natural resources in the world and, you know what I'm saying, make Africa? Like, we'll be fucking up America if, if they did that. So um, I just think it's so unrealistic for us to go back over there. And that's why they paint Africa to be what uh, the most dangerous place on Earth with all the poisonous animals with all the poisonous snakes and spiders and diseases, you got to have all kind of different um, shots to go over there and stuff like that. Like, they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing, man. It, now, it, it's, it's just not going to happen. Um, so, Steve Harvey, right? He, uh, <clears throat> if, if, if many people don't know... Steve Harvey, you know, is a is a black comedian, actor, show host kind of guy, you know, radio kind of guy. And, um, <clears throat> you know, he's been noted to be a, a coon, you know, a little bit of a coon. Ain't no not problem. a little bit. Well, yeah. a major coon. He's not a coon, y'all. <laughs> he okay. is in my book. You know, he, he's, he's boarding on the coon train. He's boarding on the coon train. I, I don't think so, but okay. Um... Sure. With that being said, uh, Steve Harvey, you know, went to Africa. You know, like, I couldn't even believe it when I read this. Steve Harvey recently went to Africa for the first time. And he he came back, and he's like, yo, like, they paint Africa to be out like this. They paint it to be like that. But this is the richest place, you know, on, on Earth or whatever. And he's opening up a business there to, to, to help. To help uh, them, to help black people from here grow uh, grow businesses over there and have black run businesses. So, uh, what what do you think about that, John Jay? Like, you know, although Steve Harvey's a coon, you know, he's not a coon. He's he's he's. I, he's I'm a, I'm gonna right say now. this. I'm what I'm gonna say about it is, as far as him being a coon, I will say that. Um, I, how I'm gonna say it? Um, He's not a coon. I, just say it. No, I, I gotta, cause, cause you, the way he is, though, man, like he, he ain't really. He one of them uppity niggas. He he don't see himself like one of us, but he stay try to stay down enough to where, you know, what I'm saying you don't put the coon tag on him, but. He ain't he ain't down for this shit. He ain't like 
for instance, what, By what the, way, the business that he's opening? Sorry to cut you off. The business that he's opening, now, now that I remember, is the African version of Family Feud. I don't know, man. All I'm gonna say is, uh, anybody can go to Africa, especially Ghana, and get free land, uh, free uh, grants and loans for for businesses. Like they want uh, um, African Americans to come over there, bad as shit. Like if you really want to be a land owner and have a, be an entrepreneur, that's where you go. You go to um, Africa because they they giving it to you free. You know what I'm saying? But um. Back to Steve Harvey, he it it it's tough, man. Like it, it's tough. Like he, of course he got his people that he deal with, but he got the majority of he. It's like he's like the male version of Oprah to me. Put it like that. He's the male version of Oprah. Okay. Okay. All right. So and how Oprah you feel? Like a coon uh-huh. to me too. Oh uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, I I really don't like Oprah, but I I could talk three hours, four hours about how much I don't like her. But uh, JB, what what do you think about that? Um, I think I think we should do it. I think we need more stuff. Uh, we need more land. We need to keep pushing people over. Why not? You know, what I mean, this world is not big. You know. I want to have businesses. Some people live some places like Florida, North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, you know, and they never get to leave. You know what I'm saying? They never get to leave. Man, I have cousins that stay in the Bahamas and they're not coming back. They have their own businesses up there in the Bahamas doing hair, hair, nails, whatever she do. You know what I mean? So or eyebrows. I don't know what she do, but she has her own business. She's doing very, very well up there. You know, and I went to uh, Bahamas. I, you know, I never been to Africa, but you know, even the Bahamas over there, you know, going towards Freeport, there's a lot of land over there, a lot of things over there, a lot of opportunity over there we could take take uh, business of. And and I'm t- be real with you, I'm tired of white people going over there to take business. They making money over there and coming here and have another business over here. They have money spreading everywhere. You know. So I do like the fact of pushing our our business over to Africa. I do like the fact of pushing our business over, you know, over here as well. And I'm not saying leave Africa and don't come back, but have an opportunity. That we need more black businesses. We need more black businesses other places. That way, hey, when I'm I'm going to the Bahamas next year, I need to get a hotel. I have a black person I can get a hotel from. You know what I'm saying? Instead of giving, you know, uh, that hotel money to a white person. You know, so I definitely like that. Like that plan. I like that idea. I don't believe Steve Harvey is a coon. Um, I think his attentions are good, and his where his heart at is good. It's just he don't know really how to express himself or in that way. You know what I'm saying? But. I, I I think he did a lot of great things for it. When you have to question a person like that did good things, don't we don't have to damn right call them a coon. You know what I'm saying? Like we have to be a little bit loose we going a little loosely on the coon word. You know what I mean? A coon is somebody damn like they a coon coon for real. Like you know what I'm saying? You know that person, ain't no question. But I say he's a little confused about something. And he I feel like he ain't got no backbone. He going to shut up when them crackers tell him shut up. You know what I'm saying? He ain't going to stand we, up well, for nothing. I don't know Steve Harvey well enough to know that. Maybe some things he did stand up for and maybe some no, things he, he didn't. For shit. Like, I, you know, just say uh, the Monique thing. I he didn't. didn't. Uh, he I didn't, didn't stand up for Monique. But I did, but That's I did, some cool shit right there. But I, I didn't 100% agree with Monique. I'm just I mean, saying from I didn't point agree with her neither, but I didn't at agree. the same time... For him to tell her to basically how I took it was he told her to shut up but, and just take but what they give you. But, nah, but, but, but people, fuck? but people are forgetting. Like I don't. I, the only thing I think was wrong with that is because he put her on that show to talk about that type of stuff. That should have been a private conversation to me. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. Now, you want to come on my show and talk about the great things that you are doing or come on my show and, and we are touch on that topic, that's fine. But just to sit there and dwell on that topic 
and they just going off of emotions and going from their heart and talking women to girl, girl to girl, man to man. I think some stuff don't need to be put out there like, like that. Because I don't think he really meant a lot of things the way he said it. It's just I, I kind of understood both sides. You know what I'm saying? Like, I understood because I didn't totally agree with the Monique and the way she did things and the way she handled things. So I can't sit here and say he a coon because he said it that way. You know what I mean? You know, we got to be a little bit better on our words and, and a little bit sensitive to our, our black people here, man, because, mm-hmm. you know, we don't know what he went through and how he went through it. And, and he lost his show. You know what I mean? I don't think it was just because of that. I think it was due because, you know, it went for years. But he lost his show for that. And now uh-huh. he got it, you know. So who really lost in the long run, you know? We all lost. Mm-hmm. So. Well, um, man, I just think he be putting up this image of himself. But, you know what I'm saying? I just think I just think he, he, ain't, he ain't got the integrity that he try to display to the world. And I got a few things to say about it, but he's not the topic. But, you know what I'm saying? You could go back to his ex-wife. Like, mm. she tell it all, you feel me? But I know bitter wives say shit about people. But you telling me um, Bernie Mac, he, he was bitter too? Bernie Mac had a lot of negative shit to say about him. Like, it ain't like no one had anything bad to say about him. It's a few people. And when people start piling up to say negative shit about you, somebody, everybody ain't lying on you. That's all I got to say. You know, in regards to that comment, I totally agree with that, you know, because there, you know, there's a saying that if one person or two people don't like you, cool. But if nobody likes you, there might be something wrong with you, <laughs> you know, at the end Thank of the day, you, you know, and, uh, you. and that's, and that's just the reality of that. So, um, Oprah like him. <laughs> of course she would. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't want to get on Oprah, man, because I'm about, man, this show going to go on for hours, but. Uh, NFL I, picks. Yeah, so we're going to get into some things. We're going to get into some things. Um, Africa, I'll say one last thing about Africa um, real quick. In regards to Africa, I feel like, you know, that should, you know, be maybe an option for black folks. You know what I'm saying? Um, maybe when you turn a certain age, you know, you have the option to go there and, and, and get granted something, you know, maybe or something like that. So, um, you know, just the, the idea uh, of, of that topic, you know, there's so many possibilities, um, you know, with that, that I think that is a really cool topic to kind of talk about. So yeah. um, every black but, person should go at least once in their lifetime. I'm, I'm going to go probably not next year, but the year after, but I'm definitely going. Yeah, I'm trying to go too. So, um, I had a friend that did like three months over there, and uh, it was. He said, "Man, you wouldn't even believe it." Um, so, uh, with that being said, let's. Uh, we anybody got any closing words for this topic? By the way. Nah, man, y'all stop calling black people a coon unless they really, really, really a coon. Oh, Not I, borderline coon. I said he was a borderline coon. I was, right. you know, that's a little borderline that's coon. Borderline coon. I, I you know, because he I, could I really, come back. He could still, he could still come to the cookouts, but we ain't really <laughs> fucking with you like that. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man. <laughs> coon, coon uh, Coon yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey. Oh. Tracks today.